Aquila lived in a golden age. The immortals walked among us and taught us wonders. It was an age of legends and great kings. The greatest of those kings was Minos, ruler of Knossos, the greatest city in Aquila. Sadly, wealth and power bred hubris in the king's heart. Not content to be a mere king, Minos sought to raise himself higher than the immortals. All Aquila paid the price for his arrogance. Olympian Zeus transformed Minos' son into the Minotaur. Immortal, invulnerable, and consumed with hate for all that lives. The beast slew his father and smashed Minos' palace. Mount Thera exploded, laying waste to the entire isle. Darkness fell upon Aquila. The immortals withdrew to Olympus. War, famine, and terror ruled the land. The great monsters of old returned, and the Minotaur ran amok. Centuries passed, a dark age that knew no hope. But in the fullness of time, a new hero rose, Aquilus, who tamed the Minotaur and founded the new empire. The Minotaur was seen in a great labyrinth designed by Daedalus. The Oracle warned that if he ever escapes, the Immortals will forsake us again. The Minotaur was forgotten until the war with Troy. On the eve of the invasion of Ilios, our offerings were spurned. Was the Minotaur free?